Baseball Bowls 1978 is a feature presentation of the nation's leading independent, the Mislu Television Network. Yellow 19, yellow 19, one three, ready? Set, come on, hunt you. Let's go! the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. This is the 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl, featuring Stanford against the University of Georgia. In red jerseys, will be kicking off, and Stanford in white to receive, and Rex Robinson boots it away, and we are underway of the year except Christmas. All right, let's watch Steve Bill, number 12, the Stanford quarterback. In a pro set with wide receivers out each way. We're going to see a lot of that aerial show as the evening goes on. There's Bargram flanking wide to the left, and Vince Mulroy is going to be flanked to the right. The running back here split, and this is Dills to the air for the second time. It and Marty Smith, number 88, is the tight end. Here's Dills back to throw again, and this time Dills completes one to Francis's fullback. That's Marjoram going to the left. He's a sophomore from Fountain Valley, California at 6'175". This is Steve Dills, the nation's leading passer. And we have seen Nelson on the first running play, Don. That we have. Georgia are using a wide tackle, six defense. They're not big, but they're very active along that line of scrimmage. Now man in motion to the right, that's Francis. And Dills has completed passes for almost 3,000 yards and 22 TDs in 1978. You just saw Marjum coming to the right. The ends are in, and Nelson in motion to the right. Dills to the air on third down. A sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio. Warner and Collins are deep as neighbor gets that ball of the air. And a good one, a beauty. It'll be now watch Jeff Piber, number seven, the quarterback. The running backs, 25, Jimmy Womack, 36, Willie McClendon, the great tailback of the All-American from Georgia. Split to the left, Lindsey Scott. This is Willie McClendon. It's for a season. Scott flanked wide to the right side with a wingman to the right. This is Jeff Pyburn. 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl game, a New Year's Eve tradition. Arnold to the near side, Amp Arnold and Lindsey Scott split to the top of your screen, Jeff Pyburn whose dad was a baseball player with the Baltimore Orioles, rolling right and looking. Who won nine, lost one, and tied one this year. This is a Stanford defense. Jeff Pyburn and McClendon. This explode for the Bulldogs to pick up the first and ten. Willie McClendon, one of the co-captains. Carmen Prince is now in. He is split to the left. Tim Morrison and Matt Braswell are the guards, and Ray Donaldson the center, and Lindsey Scott. Wide to the right. Make that wide to the left. Pyburn. Fumble. A scramble. The white shirts have it. Stanford recovers a fumble and a big break for the Cardinals. A little more than 10 minutes to go here in the first period, and the Cardinals, with Steve Dills at quarterback, are right back at it on their own 48-yard line. Dill. But Nelson is a good running back. Holloway and Engel, the tackles. Hibbler and Stevens, the guards, and McCauley over the ball for the Stanford Cardinals. A second down and three, the ball right near the 25-yard line. Ken Marjoram is splitting out wide to the left at the top of the screen. The ends stay in. Smith set left, and this is Darren Nelson. And Eight minutes, 44 seconds to go. First quarter action, Stanford Cardinals out of the back 10 against Georgia Southeastern Conference. Pros set, and now it's Marjoram Marjoram and Nelson are going to switch. Marjoram going wide to the left and Dills to the air. Under a All right, it is fourth down, 14. Ken Neighbor is back to punt and going deep as Scott Warner for Georgia in a single safety. Look at those high tops on Warner to protect that injured ankle. Uh, you saw the flag go. Right now, we're going to be guessing that uh, it is. Now, Lindsey Scott has come in. It's Scott, Milo, Morrison, Donaldson, Braswell, Guest, and Norris across the front. George in the eye, with, and the strong safety is Steve Foley, number 30. Those cornerbacks are John Pickett, number 24, and Rick Parker, number 23. Scott 
But you got to get a good shot at him. You got to get a shoulder into him. You cannot bring him down with an arm tackle. McClendon, five carries, 35 yards unofficially. Darren Nelson, 30 yards on three for Stanford as a leading carrier. And it is Womack and McClendon now, the running backs. And a happy new year from Mislu. Last five years here. You Six one, 180, he can move it at a 99-yard kickoff return against LSU this year. Scott wide to the right. First and 10, hall number 58, the right tackle. Milt McCall is battling the flu bug. Scott and Arnold are wide right in the slot, and here comes the flanker reverse. Getting a lot of help there from Charlie Fales, number 51, the center blocking for him. Mark Hodge is now in a tight end, and Arnold is flanked wide to the right side. Now being called on to stop the Bulldogs, who have a second and 14 coming up officially. Carmen Prince is split wide to the left side for the Bulldogs. Score here at the Astrodome. Merle Herman, Don Perkins, and Howard David with you. Lindsey Scott wide to the left, number 24. And Rex Robinson comes in for a field goal attempt. He kicked 15 out of 17 this year. And to do the holding is Mike Garrett. And it's from the 21, making it 31. And he's got the distance. And it is good. A 31-yard field goal by Rex Robinson. And Georgia is on the scoreboard. Rex Robinson's parents are here. We had a visit with them the other day. Great kicker. Only a sophomore out of Atlanta. And he could wheel it, too. Certainly did. Uh Jim Walsh has been there two years. Last year, they went to the Sun Bowl and beat LSU, so he's batting two out of two. Setting up offenses for teams like, well, the San Diego Chargers, the Oakland Raiders, the Cincinnati Bengals. You talk about excitement. He needs a win because the last three outings, the Bulldogs and I have not won. The last time they won in a postseason game was in 1973 when they beat Maryland in the Peach Bowl. Marching off, using the official a little bit, still pushing his guard there in front of him number 56 Rob McGregor a good job of running by Phil Francis Mitch Pleiss 83 down to tight end has brought the play in they keep alternating the receivers tight ends and wide receivers Dills now four out of seven for Stanford it's 63 percent of his passes in the regular season it's foggy it's rainy in Houston but it's a comfortable 70 degrees inside it's a beautiful night inside. Twice splitting wide to the right. Marjoram split wide to the left for Stanford. Turner in there, a whole host of red shirts. Malloy to the right, Marjoram to the left. Third down, 14 for Stanford. Deep tradition. Number 19, going back deep, that's Scott Warner. Pat Collins also back. He's the up man and back to do the punting. Is Ken Neighbor. And the ball will... Harris right there. He got caught earlier for illegally touching one in the end zone, but this time he gets it in time. It's Willie McClendon, first team all Southeast Conference, getting a good job from the people up front in the trenches. Sure, Willie gained 100 yards or more. When they moved to the eye, Willie started to operate. Scott and Prince are split wide. Tyburn to the air. And this is Scott, the intended receiver. Done by number 22, Larry Reynolds. Intended receiver of Scott. They got to go. Both have a right for it. Reynolds with great concentration kept it. He's a great high school quarterback and became a very tough linebacker as we see Marjoram going wide to the left side. Malloy to the right for the Stanford Cardinals. And we've run out of time in the first period. So the first quarter is over here in the 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl. Second quarter action coming up at the 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl. Merle Herman, Don Perkins, and Howard David with you. Stanford in possession, going the other way to the north end of the Astrodome. By Jimmy Payne, and coming into punt is Ken Neighbor, who has averaged 42 yards on three kicks. Scott Warner, 19, Pat Collins, 28 or deep. At the Superdome, or correction, the Kingdome in Seattle, January 13th. Jay Russell is now in the ball game. He has split wide to the right for Georgia. We might mention we've got another quarterback in there, number eight, the freshman, Buck Ballou, is now Heading up the Georgia Bulldogs. And Matt Simon is down as a tailback. We're looking at uh, man in motion, and that man, Bulldogs are moving the ball on them. 
Here come the Bulldogs on a third down two. For the Stanford Cardinal. Jay Russell, whose dad Irk is a happy man on the sideline for the Bulldogs. And the coaching staff is the Georgia Bulldogs marching into Stanford territory with a first down and 10 on the 27 of Stanford. Here's the quarterbacks, John Piggott and Rick Parker. Larry Reynolds has seen a lot of action at quarterback. In fact, Reynolds is out there right now. They have been so nice go. down here. Oh, thank you, gang. Way to go, Merle. <laughs> we made another one. They've really moved it around. Now, on the other side of the coin, the Stanford Cardinals throw to at least 11 receivers. Rex Robinson with Garrett Holding on the 28. Cardinals, Vince Mulroy is flanking wide to the left, the senior out of Newport Beach, California. Trains off the officials. Going to take a nice shoestring tackle. Otherwise, he's going for much more yardage. 52, Ricky McBride in on part of the time. Smith and Fleiss are now in for Stanford. Normally tight ends, but they use so many sets. What? The Dennis McBride, Rogers are the linebackers. With a major penalty taking the ball back to the 29. Well, this is part of the superstructure of the great Astrodome in Houston. And it's 3 to nothing Georgia on a field goal by Rex Robinson back in the first quarter. We're in the second period. He's pushed out of bounds. That's one of the reasons the quarterback had such a problem. Bills couldn't find anyone. On fourth down and 28, here is Jervis to do the, or rather, uh, and momentum is going for them. Buck Blue is still the quarterback. Lindsey Scott is coming to the right. Amp Arnold is going wide to the left for the Bulldogs. Up over the ball is Ray Donaldson. The Georgia leading three to nothing. Amp Arnold in motion to the left going into the slot holding and that is Lindsey Scott. He got it up for the first down. Scott splitting wide to the left. And right now it is a toss up anybody's game. The Bulldogs leading three to nothing. Not as much scoring as we'd expected tonight, but we're still in the first half. Scott has split wide to the left. Not it before a nice game. And on the first down, the ball marked officially on the 29. Scott flanked to the far side near the sideline. Here, the defensive unit for the Cardinals getting a real workout against the on-charging Bulldogs of Georgia. Scott to the right. On the they uh, evidently read the newspapers and did not like at all being picked underdogs in this contest. A fine record, 9-1-1 one, and one for the year. Milt's father was Bill McCall, two-time All-American end at Stanford. Had a brother, Duncan, who was an All-American, also at Stanford in 76. It is fourth down and three, and Ballou has gone for it, and he's got it. On the way is Trent Touchdown. He's also in the area. Carmen Prince, though, goes in. He's just a junior, the quarterback who threw as a freshman. Vince Dooley's got good help for a long time. Rex Robinson, the bad snap free. Umpire is Rudy Marich, the linesman Phil Euler, the line. And they've, now, got, they've got a special center in there for snaps. Number 51, Charlie Fails, comes in because he's a better long snapper. Robinson takes another shot at it, and it's no good. So Rex Robinson, who had kicked 29 out of 29 this year, has finally missed one. Rex missed his first PAT a moment ago this season. He kicked, well, he's now kicked 16 out of, uh, let's see, 19 field goal attempts. Right here on the Ms. Lou Television Network. Bill Walsh, a very concerned Bill Walsh right now, hoping that Steve Dills, number 12, can move it. I think somebody probably grabbed a face mask on the end of that tackle that time. Trailing Georgia by a score of nine to nothing. The Bulldogs were a real Cinderella team this year. They were picked to finish seventh or eighth in the Southeastern Conference. They came from behind to win six games. There. Good job on number 86, Steve Dennis. He just blew him away. And fine run by Francis. And it was finally Ricky McBride, the linebacker, and saw some tough ones done. They certainly did, losing four games by a total of 16 points. First down for Steve Dills and the Cardinals out. Of and they've exerted that pressure all evening so far. And Dills is far short of his 63% completion rate. They lost five yards on the pass completion. Second down, 15. By nine to nothing with 2.58 to go in the first half. Mulroy split to the left. Darren Nelson, the tailback, is flanked wide this time. 
quarterback. Not a big club at all, George is, but gosh, they got such active men out there. Number 19, Scott Warner is deep for Georgia. His pass by Buck Ballou in the second quarter. Pyburn is back in at quarterback now for the Bulldogs as Vince Dooley using two men tonight. Saraceno, young Saraceno is quite a football player working off a tackle there. They call him Paid Norris. Nobody knows him as Ulysses. Vince Dooley, Southeastern Conference Coach of the Year again this year, and he was in his rookie season. And has been for five years. Jeff Pyburn. Number 24 right there. Taking him right out of the play. And number 82, Arnold doing a good job there. Hey. Georgia unofficially 15 first downs, seven for the Cardinals. The quarterback, Jeff Pyburn. Flipping to the tailback, Matt Simon, who fired. If so, Bill Walsh will have to change. Here come the Bulldogs. First and goal from the eight. Prince is split wide to the right. This is the only team that that even challenges the Cowboys for most offensive sets. So the Bulldogs said, well, we'll do a few things, too. We'll use a flank a reverse and throw off of it and a few other things. Second and goal at the eight. Pyburn, and it is complete to Prince, and Prince is in there. Touchdown. All but Bur Prince goes in. And the Bulldogs have a 15 to nothing lead with Rex Robinson going for the extra point and Mike Garrett holding. And Georgia has rolled a 302 yards total offense to 107 for Stanford. Unbelievable. Really came to play tonight, didn't they? I tell you what, that uh, three-year postseason losing record evidently has got not only duly inspired for spa flawless. Came from behind in five ball games, though, to win it. Rex Robinson to kick it off again. I said five yards closer. Think Dills will crank it up one time before halftime, Earl? I have a hunch he might get it airborne at least once or twice. Steve Dills, number 12, leading passer in the nation. And that'll be the end of the first half. 25-yard pass play, but it doesn't mean anything at this stage because that's the end of the first half of the Blue Bonnet Bowl. Back in the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, Merle Harmon, Don Perkins, and Howard David with you. And Stanford is kicking off to start the third quarter. And Lindsey Scott, deep in the end zone, will bring it out for the Georgia Bulldogs. 15 to the 20 and roll out of bounds. And split wide to the left side is Amp Arnold. Jeff Pyburn on the first call gives it to Willie McClendon, who hits the left tackle of the slant near the 30. Jeff Pyburn on a second down five. Out of the eye, Lindsey Scott split to the right side. And look at Womack on that quick trap up across the 40 to the 42. $1,000 to his high school, Fenwick High. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Here is Pyburn going to his full tailback, Matt Simon. Simon is on his way almost. He is pulled down. A4 finally brings him down. Lindsey Scott is wide to the right. Pyburn, and this is the fullback, Ronnie Stewart. And look at Stewart go up the middle. Down inside the 10. 5'10", 191, and he blows through. Pyburn going to the fullback, Stewart, and Stewart is right down to the goal line. Duke Dapper is down there defensively for Stanford. Power eye, and Pyburn, touchdown. And Georgia has scored quickly here in the third quarter in less than three minutes. So Jeff Pyburn takes him home. Charged by the offensive line for Georgia. And their extra point is added by Rex Robinson. He missed his first two, but he doesn't miss this one. And so the Bulldogs score in the first two minutes of the third quarter and take a 22 to nothing lead here in the 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl. And we'll be back. And this is Rex Robinson, who can really boom the football. And here he is. A little bit short on this one. We should have a run back. That's Banks at the four. 20, 25, and brought down 268 yards passing. Have really been shut down by the Bulldog defense. Here's Dills out of the eye, fakes the draw. And the ball tipped, and Marjoram was the intended receiver on the 40, made a dive for it. Georgia has dominated this game tonight. That's about all there is to it. Slot to the left now for Stanford. Dills, this is Nelson, and Darren out across the 30. Running back split, wide receiver right. Dills, ball knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Pat Collins are back deep, and to do the punting is Ken Neighbor. Neighbor gets it away. Warner will let it take a roll. And the ball goes down at the 22. 
They're coming at him. There's the mascot, the Duke. Hibern at quarterback. Willie McClendon diving across the 25 to the 27. Lindsey Scott is split wide to the right. Amp Arnold on the wing, and right up the middle goes Jimmy Womack as they go to the double tight end on the short yardage and go into a power eye. Fiburn to Willie McClendon. First down, Georgia. Both these teams are red and white. And Fiburn at quarterback will bring Arnold in motion back to the right side. Oh, a hit on a blitz and a helmet lost. Second down and 14. Georgia giving uh, Stanford a little different offensive set now. Three wide receivers out. Pyburn back to uh, Willie McClendon. McClendon hitting up to the 34. And they also beat Georgia Tech, who lost to Purdue in the, in the Peach Bowl. Jim Pyburn going to the air and going long for Lindsey Scott. And we have a flag thrown and a pass interference call. Who uh, is nursing an ankle injury. Georgia first down in the 47. Here's the option. Simon throwing. And a nice defensive effort there. Big tight end for Bulldogs. Georgia leading 22 to nothing in the third quarter. Here's the inside reverse to Amp Arnold. And he lost the football. And Stanford has recovered. Amp Arnold on the flank of reverse. Now it's Stanford with Steve Dills at quarterback. With one setback. Wide receivers out each way. And this is Brown trying to get to the outside. And does. And down to the 42-yard line of Georgia. That's Marjoram split to the right. And it is Francis to the 40 and nine touchdowns this year, but nothing tonight. Incomplete intended for plays. Mulroy, Mul rather, is split wide to the right side now for Stanford. Dills rushes on in the pocket, and this time he's got Marjoram. Ken Marjoram. Marching 75 yards in six plays after taking the third quarter kickoff. Dills. And this is Francis fighting his way to the 25. But the Bulldogs still have had everything going their way. They have just outplayed the Cardinals. Dills falls down, dropping back. I think he, I don't know if he got tripped up. Puts a lot of players in and out of the lineup, so he has a lot of opportunities to get plays in there. Dills is a minus 46 rushing. Third and 14, home run ball. There's Marjoram wide open. And there is the first TD of the night. First punch on the board for the Cardinals. Was he open or was he open? So the Cardinals go into their pro set. Dills throwing for two and he doesn't get it. So now Stanford is trailing with six minutes and three seconds to go. In the third quarter, 22-6. Here's Howard David. Scott at the four, the 10, trying to go the other way. Get some blocking at the 15, the 20. He can move it, flags are down, and Scott to the 34. Ronnie Stewart is now the fullback, and Willie McClendon the tailback of the eye, and Piber in the quarterback. McClendon. Out across the 15. Milo and Guest to the tackles for Georgia. And this time the handoff going to Stewart, and Stewart not getting much. Amp Arnold split to the right. Need two on a third down now as Jeff Pyburn checks the running backs. Willie McClendon going for the first down. Fumbles a football, and they go after it. And Stanford is recovered. So the Cardinals come up with their second fumble recovery. Terry Rineker, 100, had he been able to hold that football. Here, are D Steve Dills. And it is Darren Nelson. Dennis Rogers and McBride, the linebackers. Water and Hope, the cornerbacks. Collins and Kelly, the deep backs. Of course, Collins, the rover. Dills going to the air, and he's got his man. That's Nelson, touchdown. Boy, you talk about a team that can come back, and that's what we have been referring to. A 20-yard touchdown pass to Darren Nelson coming out of the backfield to hold. And they're going to fake it, and they worked on this yesterday. And yes, neighbors can throw a run, and he's in there he's for in the two-point conversion. Ken Neighbor can either throw or run up that. That it is 22 to 14 here in the third quarter. The Indians, or rather the uh, Cardinals, coming back strong. This is Lindsey Scott of the one. 10. 15. 
20, flag down. Activities, the hospitality that he's extended to the teams, the schools, and the traveling part. Buck Ballou is now the quarterback for Georgia. And Womack at fullback, McClendon at tailback. It's Womack the fullback. Camp Arnold is splitting wide to the left for Georgia. Ballou, McClendon, and a jarring tackle at the 10. Third down, nine coming up. Scott is split to the right. Arnold wide to the left. Ballou. And it is Willie McClendon almost away, but dumped the ball. Southeastern Conference right guard, Matt Braswell, number 55. Kick is away, almost blocked. And the return is on, and that is number 46 bringing the ball back. It was the first Georgia punt of the night at the 44 of the Bulldogs. The Cardinals put it in play. Bills has his man. This time he goes to Mitch Fleiss, his tight end and other gentlemen that we'll recognize later. Here is Darren Nelson. The play is still underway. Flags are down, a fumble, and I believe a recovery by Georgia, but I also believe Georgia was offside. Nelson now near the 100-yard mark in rushing, 87 yards unofficially. Dills going for the bomb. There's Marjoram. Ken Marjoram is second touchdown to the quarter, the third of this third period for Stanford as he beat Robert Hope. And the Stanford Cardinals come to life in the third quarter. The players, the schools have really enjoyed it. And the fans are enjoying this action, huh? They're going for two. Dills. He's got it. Tie game. Darren Nelson. 22 to 22. Almost an unbelievable comeback by the Stanford Cardinals. Scoring three touchdowns here in the third quarter and tying the Bulldogs, 22 all. Watch Lindsey Scott from two yards deep of the end zone. 20, 25. Scott has returned five for 99 yards. Womack and McClendon are the eye. Womack the up back. Willie McClendon hit behind the line. John Piggott. Has a tough assignment now. He's going against Scott as Scott is flanked to the right. Here comes the challenge. There's Scott and there's Piggott. And he got him out of bounds. Remember, Bill Walsh said there would be seven touchdowns at least in this game. Arnold is split wide to the left for Georgia. Ballou hit behind the line. A fumble and Saracino might have been in there again. Let's see who got it. Tom Hall went scrambling for the ball and it might be his recovery. They're on the move again. First down on the 28-yard line of the Bulldogs. Steve Dills with 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter is thrown for three touchdowns in this period. This time it is Darren Nelson, 15. Make that uh, Francis. That's a good job there, spinning out, picking up good yardage. Back to the live action. Dills looking for the end zone. There's his man. Touchdown. Oh, dropped by, Mar by Smith. The tight end, Marty Smith. The ends are in tight. Lice and bowl. And this is Francis down to about the seven. And at the end of three quarters, it is now Georgia 22 and Stanford 22. Georgia against Stanford. Stanford with the ball. It is third down seven for a first down, eight for a touchdown. And Dills on the rush gets hit as he lets it go, and it is incomplete. Steve Dills now 15 out of 25, 187 yards as coming into the game, Ken Neighbor on fourth down, going for a 24, a 24 yard field goal that could put Stanford in the lead, and it is good. A 24 yard field goal by Ken Neighbor, and Stanford has come from way back to go out in front. Indian, or rather, the uh, Cardinals trail 15 to nothing at the half and 22 to nothing in the third quarter after two minutes but now they're leading and lindsey scott will not run this one back does it well, that <laughs> no, the fans love it they like it you bet bill walsh who has the great passing game split to the right amp arnold georgia trailing by three here in the fourth quarter hyburn going to womack for georgia arnold is split to the right for the bulldogs Hyburn to Camp Arnold is going wide to the right. Hyburn 
looking for Scott. There he is at the 35, and he's up to the 39. Now Scott comes to the left side. Willie McClendon. So Foley has replaced Chapman as Scott comes to the left for Georgia. Hyburn, play fake. At uh, Stanford. Carmen Prince is now, and he's split to the left. Scott goes to the right for Georgia. And this is Womack, the fullback. Womack breaking a tackle on the sideline. They will be flying in tomorrow, and we'll tell you about their schedule a little later. Georgia in possession. First down on the Stanford 46. The Bulldogs have moved the football, and Pyburn has his man. And that's Big Pay Norris, the tight end. First and 10 on the Stanford 31. Or Stanford leading 25-22. Pyburn to Willie McClendon. McClendon just pulling his way. Pyburn has Arnold split to the left. Willie McClendon, not much but a little. And will fly out tomorrow because of the bad weather in the Midwest. Pyburn to Willie McClendon inside the 20 at the 18. What a job he has done in 15 years at Georgia. 11 bowl games in 15 years. On second and six. And it is Stewart to fullback inside the 15 to the 13. They want to keep themselves in good scoring position. Got an excellent kicker in Rex Robinson. 10-21 to go here in the ball game. And Georgia down by three. Willie McClendon. Hit. Has not been one of his more accurate nights, though, Merle. Missing a couple of extra points. It'll be a 31-yard shot from the right hash mark. 21 plus 10. Distance is good. And it is off to the left. It is off to the left, and the Cardinals have stopped the Bulldogs. This time at their own 20. Georgia owns the st uh, statistics, but Stanford owns the lead. And that's Marjoram in motion. And Francis. Good job by Engel. Good run that time by Francis. And Dills at quarterback. He's been there all the way. Bow the man in motion. Stanford, third down. Big play for the Georgia defense. The draw. Nelson doesn't get it. Neighbors average 43.2. Collins on the run. 39-yard line. And he gets 10. He gets 11. He gets 13. And SI said that this game might be the most exciting of all the bowl games. Well... 25-22, fourth quarter, 7.29 to go, Georgia in possession. Pyburn, the option. High for Stanford. Russell is split wide to the left for Georgia. He's now in. And this is Willie McClendon. He almost broke it and fumbles the football, and I believe Stanford... Nope, it is. yes, it is. Yep. Stanford recovers. Again, that's a third fumble recovery. Great third quarter they put on. You have to wonder what kind of a passing club they're going to be right now, or are they going to run? Well, Stanford's not going to sit on it. Incomplete. Six minutes, 45 seconds to go in the game. Dills now 15 out of 26, 187 yards, 59% roughly. Nobody back except Dills to throw. The fullback was in motion. He completes it to Marty Smith. Fumble football, and maybe the Georgia Bulldogs have it, and they have it. They do. They had it. They lost it. They got it again at the 28. And the red shirt. The ball gets a loose from him. And 46, Danny Rogers, the linebacker from Athens. As Jeff Fiburn asked the enthusiastic Bulldog fans to quiet it down. Fiburn to Simon. And then a field goal early in the fourth quarter to take a 25-22 lead. This is Stewart. I believe he has the first down. Pyburn, Stewart, four minutes, 44 seconds to go. Jeff Pyburn calmly brings the Bulldogs to the line of scrimmage. Play fake. He's going for the sideline, and Georgia stopped a moment ago driving on the 20. Now down on the 11. And it is Pyburn on the option. How about this? The Bulldogs are going for it. Fourth down, down by three. Pyburn. The roll. Back of the end zone. Incomplete. It was intended for number 85, Pay Norris. Fullback for Stanford. 
as the Cardinals have the ball at their own 10. And this is Darren Nelson. He needs a win in this game to finish in the top 10 ratings. Phil Francis at the 30. I believe he has the first down. He does. Who was it said, anyway, that it ties like kissing your sister? <laughs> no, Merle, I did not say that. Oh, you didn't <laughs> say that. Darren Nelson, 13 total. Dills Airborne swings it out to his fullback, Phil Francis, 45, and he's near midfield. 329 yards total offense now for Stanford against 504 for Georgia. Bill Francis inside the 45 of the 44. Bob Rose, good friend of ours, was with the Stanford basketball team this week, and they did well beating UCLA. 44 seconds of the clock running. 19-6. 39 seconds to play. Steve Dills at quarterback. Going to Darren Nelson, the tailback. The good, works. Good place to spend New Year's Eve. Fantastic. Here it is, fourth down inches. And they get it. Jim Brown, 1 o'clock in Los Angeles, 4 o'clock in San Francisco. Nelson, 106 yards. Dill, 17 out of 28, 207 yards. As Dill falls on the ball, it runs down four seconds. The final score, Stanford 25 and Georgia 22, the 20th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl.